Yeah, hello and welcome to the their Let's Play 2. This is 2K. I'm here with a uh, Swirly. This is episode 14 of WWE. <laughs> Swirly, how's it going over there? Uh, what is going on right now, bro? I'm very confused <laughs> I don't as even... to why we are talking like this. I, I do... don't even have an answer. Are we Are we doing, like, are we Mike and the Mad Dog? What's going on? Ooh, I don't understand. Mike and the Mad Dog. Yeah. Reference for only maybe 25% yeah. of our, our listeners, viewers, people. Look, everyone knows who Mike Francesa is. He's the king of New York. Everyone knows him. What are, you, what are you just doing pretending you don't know who Mike Frances is? Come on. This is, is, is a joke. Is that his last name? Yeah. Okay. He's the king of New York. Okay. Look, I'm here to book SmackDown. Okay. All right, we are going to open SmackDown with a wrestling match. I think I got to you last week. <laughs> I don't have any big talking segments. I have to, I'll think of one later. All right. U.S. title tournament. I didn't really want to book this match, but Hideo's a heel, so why not? Shinsuke and Hideo. They probably fought Hideo. in Japan. Uh, I don't know about that. Actually, no, because wasn't Kenta in... Uh, he was in not, Noah. Yeah, not in, in not New Japan. Yeah. So, yeah, this this will be an exciting match if it happens. Yeah. Uh, Shinsuke's going to win. Of course he is. Yeah. And uh, I would also, again, like to I would like to see them see what they can do here. Let's, uh, let's have them go all out. Let's try to steal the show. Give the people a good match. All right, they they will do so. All right. Man. Now I want to have a segment in Shane McMahon's office. I'm hoping Shane McMahon will do better now with his new gimmick. If not, he is on the hot seat because I have other McMahons waiting in the fucking wings. So here's Shane. He's ready. Willing and so, Gable. He's not. No, he's not those things. So the club is going to come into his office, and he's going to give them a stern warning. I heard your promo last week. You don't run this show. I run this show. This is this is my house. <laughs> this is my house. We're, and tonight we're doing Cesaro and Carl Anderson again. There's going to be no interference. If any of you guys get involved, you're out of here. And if Cesaro wins that match, he's getting a title shot at AJ Styles. That sounds like a six-minute promo. Yeah, and the bull club's going to be like, man, fuck you. <laughs> man, I don't know why you're being there, man. Oh, Bob picking on me like, hey, man, I'm bad. I just come out yeah. here, try and be my bad, man, do magic, and you come in here, I'll pick on me like that. I, I, okay, sure. Um... We're gonna have another match. Yeah. Eva Lise and Bailey get this Ooh. out of the way quick. Yeah. You want to uh, let the people know why this is happening right now? <laughs> well, I'm still we're still building stuff, but <laughs> Eva Lise has accepted an MMA match yep. and will begin a training camp in like what two months? Two months. Yeah. So we we got to use her while she's here. Head head cannon. She's fighting Ronda Rousey. Yeah. So Bailey go so, over. Actually, oh, Eva Lise is gonna win by interference from Paige. Paige interference. No. <laughs> then after the match, uh, Bex is gonna save Bailey from a beatdown. Uh, yeah, Bailey's very unhappy, so we're gonna keep her strong. All right, Bailey's gonna win by. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 it's fine. Bailey can win by botched interference. Oh, Paige, you could have won and then you botched it. Yeah, it's fine. Either way, I guess to do the angle afterwards where they both try to beat her up and then Bex makes it save. All right. I'm very unhappy with Bailey politicking here. Showing her true colors. I mean, okay, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised she didn't want to lose to Ivelisse, who she knows is le leaving the company. Look, man, I'm telling stories here, all right? Bailey, I'm trying to tell a story. The story doesn't have to have you win all the time. You're not the female John Cena. Wait a minute. And <laughs> second... <laughs> Do 
Doing some more people, attacking and saving. Yeah, I mean, people like Becky Lynch. Maybe this will do okay. <laughs> Let's see. It was uh, that there. Oh my goodness. Victim Bailey. Bailey. I got it. Attacker. That was the no. That was the name I couldn't remember. It's okay. Fucking Bailey for some reason. The one we were just talking about. Yep. All right, what you got? Um. Hmm. I need to come up with the main event for this show. Oh. Um. Yeah. Well, before that, we can do. The last. Actually, let me let me see my uh let me see my analysis. Cesaro. Well, I know what I'm doing with Cesaro. Kofi. Oh, we need to do something with the new day. Oh, oh, oh! New day versus the Young Bucks. That that needs to happen. Young Bucks haven't even had a real match yet. I mean, don't do that as the main event. No, of course not. Okay, you want to do that now? Yeah, right now, like oh, okay. right this second. Okay. Biggie and Kofi. Uh, yes. Actually, you know what? Since we're the rest of the Young Bucks, let's do uh, Kofi and Xavier. Maybe we have a little flippy match. Yeah, I was going to say, you want to get Xavier in there somehow? Yeah. I'm going to let them try and steal the show, too. Yeah. We're That's what we're all about here on SmackDown. Oh, the, the New Day has to win. The Young Bucks are just lackeys. I mean, I love the Young Bucks, but that's that that's their role in this group. Are they not the Young Bucks? They are Apparently not the Young not. Bucks. Yeah, we should probably fix that. Yeah. Yeah, they should be the Young Bucks. All right. All right. Let's do a long talking segment with Owens and uh, Zane. We can do a TV open or something where they're just going to talk back and forth and they're going to say, you know, I'm s- I am so sick and tired of wrestling you. We've been doing this for 10 years. You know, everywhere I go, you're my face. Let's finish this once and for all. SummerSlam, me and you, last man standing. Let's do it. All right. That's a good way to end the first hour. Yeah. All right, then we are going to have... I mean, this is kind of a match, but it's kind of an angle, so you tell me how we're going to do this. So we're going to have our next... Well, we could probably do it. We'll, we'll do an angle first. Okay. So we're going to have our last uh, first-round match uh, matchup for the U.S. title. Yep. And uh, Adrian Neville's going to come out, making his big return. Everyone's going to be real excited, and then the club's going to come out. They're going to be like, well, you know, we've been looking for a new member. And... Uh, you know, we've been looking we've been looking here on the SmackDown roster, but there's really just no one that we that we thought could cut it. No one with the kind of experience, the kind of attitude, the kind of the kind of knockout power we wanted. So we had to go outside the company. And uh while, while they're talking and Neville's looking at them, Chris Hero slides in the ring, forearms the shit out of Neville, uh beats the hell out of him and pins him in like a couple minutes. All right, so they do that. You know what? Replace Neville with Zack Ryder. <laughs> That's Aww. a bad way to debut Neville. So Zack Ryder's like, yeah, I'm going to win the U.S. title. He's been the U.S. champion before. That's not outrageous. Yeah, but he would be so excited. Oh, yeah, no, he, yeah, he's, like, he's, he's just happy to be on so the well. Like, he's just so yeah. happy to be there. And then, like, the club music hits, and he's like, oh, come on. Oh, hell, yeah, let's give him a promo right before this to really settle that, like, where he's just like, man, this is my chance. I've been trying to make it back to the top for so long. And Chris Hero just elbows the mm. shit out of him. Oh, Zach's furious. Well, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Uh, I don't care at all. Sorry, Zach. Uh, yeah, and then Chris Hero is going to cut a promo after this, too, in the ring, where he's going to talk about how he's been working to get here for 12 years. He was here once before, and they told him he, he was a great wrestler, but he just didn't. He wasn't pretty enough to be a superstar. But now the club's running SmackDown. They don't they don't care what he looks like. And now that he's here, he's finally going to get his chance. 
to yeah. kick ass in the WWE. Club has all their pretty quota filled with Carl Anderson. <laughs> He's so pretty. Speaking of which, I guess we should do that uh, Carl and right. Cesaro match. Yeah. Cesaro. Uh, Carl. C- <laughs> Cesaro's going to win. Yeah. I figured as much. Yeah. So Cesaro and AJ Styles will be our big title match for SummerSlam. That's a, that's a good main event. Yeah, I like it. That's probably why I booked it. All right, let's. Uh, can, can I see my analysis again? I, I really need to do a main event here. See, I got Del Rio, Ziggler, Cena, and then of course also Joe, Apollo Cruz, Austin Aries, Baron. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Just do what? Joe and Baron versus Cena and Dolph. What a main event. Oh, I think we need to do a good old-fashioned, when in doubt, six you New Japan tag. that shit. You do a six-man tag. Yeah, for sure. Oh, boy. Okay, what you got for me? John Cena. Yep. Dolph Ziggler. Yep. Kalisto? Biggie Langston. Okay. Taking on. Samoa Joe. Yep. Austin Aries. Sure. Baron Corbin. Uh, Replace Biggie with Apollo Crews. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it does. What a six man tag. John Cena. I like it. John Cena and his friends. <laughs> He's got good friends. Uh, who's winning this match? Um. I think Samoa Joe has to win the match. Okay. He he yeah. He, not pinning Cena though. I'm sure that. the game will have him pin someone else. Yeah. Actually, can we make sure he pins Dolph? Because I don't want Apollo to be pinned. Yeah. Dolph can be pinned. Any Dolph Ziggler fans uh, watching? Um, you're not gonna like how I book him. Yeah. Uh, In case you yeah. haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. And then Joe can cut a promo after this where he's like, I, you know, I'm tired of you running for me, Cena. Um, I, you know, I want my rematch. I've been trying to get it. SummerSlam, let's do it. And, of course, John Cena, he's not going to back down from a challenge. He's going to accept this match. Yeah. All right. You got three more minutes. That might be a bad way to end the show, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um. Do you want Cesaro to cut a promo on AJ? Sure. Okay. I feel like that should happen. Right? Like the, the challenger being like, hey, I'm going to beat your lackey and then I'm going to beat you at yeah. SummerSlam. All right, we'll oh, you back. know what? I, I, haven't, uh, I haven't booked Alberto. Oh, okay. You, you do have time, so you can book him in a squash if you want. Um, or I could put him in that six man. Okay. That, that would probably be better because he's the main eventer. Yeah, take out Baron and put in Del Rio. Okay. Same result, though. Joe over yeah. Ziggler. Yeah, Joe over Ziggler. Should be a solid B. I think so. And then, yeah, is there anyone else we're nah, missing out? Biggie and Kalisto. Well, actually, can we book a dark match? Yeah. What do you want? I just six band. You know what? I've actually been wanting to see this for a while. This is. I just want to do some test dark match promos. Can I book like three singles promos? One with Biggie, one with Xavier, and one with Kofi. Just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I just I've been meaning to see if one of them is like dragging down those New Day promos. Three minutes each. Yeah. Oh, pre-show, pre-show. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what this would look like at the actual arena. Oh, it just 
th- this isn't even something that would necessarily make the crowd. It would just me being backstage, being like, you, get in front of the camera, talk. <laughs> Who's ruining these promos? I need to know. And then, of course, we're probably going to do this, and they're all going to get C's, and I'm going to be like, God damn it. <laughs> this didn't help at all. I think it's Kof, to be honest. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Taking bets on who it is. Is it Kofi? Is it Big E? I think it's Big E. Is it ready? Yeah, I'm always ready. No, I mean, I'm to afraid- start the show. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, okay. Because you're not always ready, because you have to book it. And then no, next- I'm yeah. always ready. <laughs> Big E, C. Yep. Xavier, C plus. Kofi, C minus. <laughs> yeah, that didn't help much. All right. I guess you were right, though, that it was Kofi. All right. I- I'm happy with a C plus on this match. I was a little worried about this. Samoan driver. This match got the crowd buzzing. They loved it, Michael. Samoan driver. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Is that the Rikishi driver? Did Shinsuke win with a Rikishi driver? Maybe. All right, Shane McMahon's fucking out. Yeah, Shane's not doing good. No. Yeah. An abyss. Come on, an abysmal match. That match would have been awesome. Uh-huh. Although I, I'm a fan of Eva Lee, so whatever. I mean, me too. That's why we signed her. <laughs> we wouldn't have signed her if we thought she was garbage. Oh, yep. Here we go. All right, I'm happy with a C with yep. this match. I'm happy with a B for this promo. Wow. People love Cesaro. They do. He's got oh, people. You know who people don't love? Zack Ryder. Well, I want to see it. So it's not suited for his gimmick. All right, Chris Hero got it above average. All right. He looks so fat. He's such a big fat fatty. Yeah, no one likes him. I'll make it work. Chris Hero's real good. They liked his promo. He went backstage to cut it. <laughs> he ran backstage <laughs> like the hardcore champions after they won the yeah. title and had to run back to the ring. He won the match that ran backstage. In in this universe, Chris Hero is a better promo than wrestler. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it was actually, considering Carl's like a solid mid-carder. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This match deserved better announcing. All right, B+. Plus. Yeah. I like it. Good job, Smart Good. Joe. Good B, good I'll take it. Yep. All right. We'll see you at Raw, I think. I don't think we're at the pay-per-view. Yeah. No, we've only done two weeks. <laughs> All right. We'll see you at Raw. Goodbye.